Oh, hey. Before, after. I mean, I've gone straight in there, haven't I, guys, with that live before and after. Look at this mascara, people. Oh, my God. Okay, so right now, at this very moment, I'm probably flying in onto a stage dressed in a kind of similar but a bit more crazier outfit than this in a theatre and then walking out of a rocket to present benefits out of this world product. Don't need to feel left out, so um, this is my um, space helmet that I'll be wearing on stage, okay? Okay, probably. Couldn't even hear what I said then. But anyway, how long have you been waiting to hear about what this product is? How amazing. It is the one, the only, doo -doo -doo, Bad Girl Bang Mascara. I mean, come on, look at that packaging, people. That matte black, that metallic gold. It's not even gold, it's silver. And the pink, I'm so excited. Look, I even got my nails to match. That's actually the first time that I've seen my nails next to it, and they my cool, well done. They match beautifully. So these are the results you get from this mascara. It is all about volume. And I'm gonna tell you why, because you may be thinking, Lise, Benefit have got the number one and number two best selling mascara out there already with their real mascara that gives you that full on length, that false lash look. And then of course, roller lash mascara, which gives you that separated curled lash. Well, there was one thing missing and one thing you guys were asking for, and that was volume. Now. If you've been a Benefit fan for years and years and years like myself, you will remember Bad Girl Lash. Bad Girl Lash was actually the one-liner, because you have one-liners of things, was she's big. No, she or it. It's big. It's bad. It's the ultimate lash loader. That was actually what we used to say to customers. Anyway, it was an iconic product. It still is. People still are like, oh my god, has anyone got any? Can you sell any? And a few stores still have some. But we needed to vamp it up, we needed some newness, and we needed the new innovation. This is what this baby has got. So I'm gonna tell you all about it. Right, so I was lucky enough to go to Paris, to the LVMH labs, to see this being made. Which, for me as a makeup artist, was like literally the most exciting thing ever anyway. Because going to the labs was just like the coolest thing. It was so space age, and it was just like so awesome. And for some reason I just thought that like, people that like, made the products of benefit would all be dressed in pink. But they weren't, they were actually like dressed in like proper scientist gear probably because it's, you know, taking years to get their degrees and PhDs and all that malarkey, so. Anyway, they showed us how everything was made. We got to feel all the individual ingredients and they told us why this mascara is so special. And you have probably been seeing so much space themed stuff, including this great silver metallic jacket that I'm probably never gonna wear again, but still, but actually the real reason for that is because of one of the main ingredients in this formula is aeroparticles. Now, aeroparticles are the lightest material known to man. Say that again. The lightest material known to man. So I'm gonna explain it in this way, which is how they explained it and it made me understand it much better. If you have got a kilo of lead, it's quite a small amount of lead, but it's heavy. Now, if you've got a kilo of feathers, same weight, but a huge amount of feathers. So, the lighter the material, the more volume you have. So by putting aeroparticles into this mascara, this material's never been used in a mascara, and I don't think ever in makeup, actually what that's going to do is it's going to give you so much volume, but without the weight, meaning that the volume holds. Do you know they took over four years, by the way, to create this product, and they actually did over 75 mascaras before they got it right? How annoying must that have been when you got to like number like 60 and you're like, oh, we've got it! Oh no, no. Other ingredients that are in it that I found really interesting that I'm going to share with you. First up, soft wax. Now, soft wax, what that does is it makes your mascara feel comfy. It gives you that flexibility as well because there's nothing worse than kind of feeling your mascara or it flaking or anything like that so that's what soft wax is guys I, I literally sorry if I keep looking up here it's because I can't keep stop looking at my lashes I need to even myself out soon because I'll get a bad neck ache from being like wonky um, anyway next material is hard wax now the hard wax is kind of like the walls of a house so it adds structure to the formula so when you add that soft wax and hard wax together, you're getting the comforts, but you're also getting the structure. Then it's the pigment. Now, how many shades of black do you think there could possibly be? There's thousands, 
thousands. So the pigment in this is so jet black. I've got a bit on my hands here. Jet, jet, jet black, which is brilliant because if you didn't want jet black mascara, you might as well have brown, you know. So the pigment is the next ingredient. Then the polymer. It's like the top coat of nail varnish. So what it's doing is it's protecting your mascara from water, sweat, I don't know, getting like hit in the face by a water gun, I don't know, you know, swimming. Oh, I haven't tried it swimming yet. Definitely gonna try it swimming. Um, so it makes it water resistant as well. And then the final ingredient, yes, the final ingredient is pro vitamin B5. So that's gonna condition your lashes. Because I don't know about you, but I wouldn't have a shower and just shampoo my hair. No, my hair would be like straw. So I have to condition my hair, obviously. And our lashes are hair, so we should be conditioning it as well. So the pro vitamin B5, does that. So that's the aero particles, the soft wax, the hard wax, the polymer, the pigment, and the pro vitamin B, and it's those six ingredients that literally make a bang. Now, you may think, well done, that's it. No, a mascara is nothing without the wand and the wiper. I just thought wipers were on like cars. No, they're in mascaras too. But I'll talk to you about the wand first. Let me show it to you. This is the wand. You can see it's cone shape. It's also a plastic wand, not a bristle. You can see all those tiny little bristles going along it. It's actually over 300 of them on there. Now, they're not cone shaped like a normal bristle. Sorry, I'm trying to put the thing back in and I was doing that. There we go. They're not cone shaped like a normal bristle. In fact, what Benefit did is they cut an individual bristle in half. So that you had one flat side and one curved side. Now what that did is it meant that the flat side really pushed the mascara from the root to the tip evenly, pushing that formula evenly through the lash, meaning that you got the volume along the entire lash. As you can see there, the whole lash line, it looks like I've got liner on. I haven't got liner on. It's just the mascara. Now, also it's a universal wand, it's coned, so it's great for under eyes, but it doesn't matter on your eye shape either. It's going to work for you, which is such a result. And then that wiper doesn't do that inside the mascara, no. You can actually feel it when you pull the wand out. You can hear it almost. Um, what it's doing is it's dragging any excess mascara off. So you're getting the perfect amount of mascara on the wand so you're not wasting any and you're not gonna make a mess. It's just, it's just like the cherry on top of the cake, seriously. But actually one of my favorite things is that when you put the mascara in, how many times have you then thought you've screwed it on and thought you'd closed it properly and then you haven't and then a month later it's dry and that's well annoying and you message me saying Lisa how do I solve that and I tell you to put in a cup of warm water and oh no not anymore you can literally hear <laughs> as I did that a car door slammed outside so it's not that loud so I'll do one more hold on it's like a little click, which means that you've completely closed the mascara, which means that you've then got that amazing um, freshness inside the bottle for longer. It's also got 36 hour wear, just in case you want to keep it off for 36 hour wear. But it is that 36 hour full blast volumizing mascara. I just, I, I honestly just thought like how and why would we need another mascara until I tried this and now I'm absolutely in love with it. Top tip as well, like I also really like it with roller lash underneath it too, just to be like so extra. That's like so extra. I mean, you don't need it at all, but like I just thought I'd try it and it kind of works Then you get the real massive curl from roller lash as well. But I love it, I mean, Try it, let me know what you think. Do this before and after, send me a picture, tag me in it. Um, honestly, I'm so excited about this launch, I'm so excited. Like I say, hopefully now I've landed on the stage by now safely, um, hopefully this won't be my last video ever, doubt it, no, it won't. Just be positive there. It, there it is, it's here, Bad Girl Bang Mascara. Oh, this is the box by the way. How cool is that? I love these like untouched before and after pictures. And just to read this, 90% of women saw dramatic volume, 94% said it instantly lifted lashes and 92% said it lengthened lashes. What more do you want from a mascara, hey? So to summarize, it's intense, pitch black. It's got the pro vitamin B5, which is known to fuel and strengthen and thicken you. Oh, it's known to fuel thickness and strength. And it's smudge proof, flake free, water resistant, 
I love you, bad girl bang. I love you. I'm so pleased we can finally talk about it. It's been so hard. I've known about it for like over a year. So get your hands on it. Let me know what you think. And um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. I've been overexcited, I know, but I couldn't help myself because, like I say, I've known about this for a year and I'm only allowed to talk about it now. Um, I'm just going to post a picture as well when I'm going to get Theo to at the same time this video goes live of me with this before and after. So go and check it out on Instagram as well. But for now, I'll see you all later. I'm back, going off to space. Quite nice up there, actually. See you later. Oh, and by the way, aliens do exist. See ya. <laughs>